Welcome back to MKE Gadgets. Today we're working on bicycle repair stand, and this is the sixth video. So this carriage here is quite heavy, and once a bike is on it, it's going to be even heavier. We don't want to slam it down and hurt anybody, so I come up with the idea of collar balancing. So first, I'm calling this a top collar. And it's always fun to kind of lay out your line so when you get over to the Bridgeport Mill, you know what you're doing. So that's going to go here. Let's just clamp that on for now. This is going to be drilled and bolted on. So on top of the collar, there'll be two pieces of angle iron, and they're going to be welded on. And then this pulley is going to be bolted through here with a string. The string is representing the cable, and then there'll be an air pulley, and then the, the cable will go down. So what we're going to do first, two half inch holes, and then two half inch holes in here. So this can be bolted on. Best way to drill holes in something like this, you guessed it, the Bridgeport Mill. Two half inch holes, center drill, drill. Time to make the chips. All right, before you take the part out, you check your hole, and yes, they are half inch. Okay, two half inch holes, center drill, drill. Chip making time. Always check your hole, the size. And beautiful. With a top collar bolted on, we turn our attention to the angle iron. It's gonna look something like this. So I'm thinking if I drill a hole one inch from the end on the center of the angle iron, do that twice, this will be captured in there. Let's take this over to the Bridgeport Mill and drill a couple holes. We're gonna center drill and drill 5 sixteenths, one inch from the end, and a center of the angle iron. Let's make some chips. The pulley is going to be right in our shoulder bolt, and we want to do a fitment. Perfect. Now I just got to do another hole for the inside bolt, and then repeat this on the second part. So the angle iron here is running too long. I'm going to cut it out here, take one of these pieces, and it's going to be shortened and welded on behind here. So let me cut these off, and we'll come back and we'll talk more. After cutting these two pieces of angle iron the size, I round all the corners. I don't like sharp corners and stuff. And the cut off from here, I shortened so it can be welded on here underneath. And we still have clearance to tighten down these bolts. So all the weight is going to be on this pulley and it's going to push this piece like that. I'll weld it here and if I weld it here, that's not a lot of surface area. So by adding this piece of angle iron back here, I have a lot more surface area to weld to. And that should stop this from going like that. Let me get everything ready for welding. We'll come back and we'll start making some sparks. So with the torch in my hand, it's spark making time. I'm gonna put a nice tack on the four corners let it cool before I flip it upside down. Everything is clamped down nice and tight.
I'll let this cool off before I flip it upside down. I don't want to get any weld in here, so I'm just placing this nut to keep that area clear. So I've rotated this around 180 degrees, and this is the back side here. Center that, and we're gonna do some more welding. Yeah, let this cool off real good. We'll come back and grind the welds and see what we got. <laughs> 